President Biden took a tour of the new Valentine's Day decorations on the White House lawn. I want to bring in Joe Concha for this because CNN broke away from their normal programming to say how wonderful it was. You know, they just love, uh, they just love, don't they? they? They just love the Biden couple. And I'm old enough to remember, Stu, when Melania Trump decorated uh, the White House and put some red trees in there because red is kind of goes along with, with the holiday season. It was eviscerated for it uh, across the media spectrum. And, and look, uh, it, it, it is fascinating uh, that we're seeing this sort of thing happen. And I have no problem with Jill Biden decorating the, the White House for, for Valentine's Day. You know, I, I, I'm not really big into... Uh, criticizing first ladies over over to little things. It's the media coverage, obviously, that we have to focus on here. Now, after this display, then Mr. Biden took some, well, I had a conversation with reporters, let's put it this way. Let me tell you what was said. One reporter said, next time bring us coffee too. Another one asked, which one is the old one in reference to the president's dogs? Another question was, or at least a statement from another reporter was, I'll bring the donuts next time if you come back. The president then proceeds to walk over to what appears to be a reporter and says, take my coffee instead, which during a pandemic, probably not a good idea to be sharing things that you may have been fellow media that we're talking about because we saw no questions about the Keystone Pipeline and all those jobs lost. We saw no right. questions about the New York governor who's going to be at the White House today and Andrew Cuomo in terms of a cover-up around thousands of deaths in nursing homes. And I can go down the line in terms of COVID relief or lax border policy, but you had a chance to ask the president questions there. And instead, we got a cutesy yeah. marshmallow media back and forth of cotton candy questions. I'll give, you, I'll give you another example. This is what the so-called professional journalism has descended to. Uh, headline in The Atlantic. Covering the Trump administration was thrilling for many journalists in the way that I imagine storming Omaha Beach must have been for a 20-year-old fresh from the plains of Kansas. Is that what journalism has become? Take down a president because you don't like him? Oh, we've gone from the shift of isms, right, Stu, from journalism to activism. And yep. as a reporter, to compare covering President Trump to, let's put it this way, have you ever seen the opening 23 minutes of Saving Private Ryan? Yes. And you're going to compare the bloodshed and the horror from that day to covering a president for four years? Uh, I love the original title, by the way, of, of this. Uh, it wasn't I was the enemy of the people. Uh, it originally was I missed the thrill of Trump. Well, at least there's some honesty there because a lot of these reporters and journalists are suddenly going to become awfully irrelevant after impeachments over this week because that's when the big plunge is going to happen in terms of ratings and clicks. No more invites to Kimmel and Colbert. No more book deals. Suddenly making yourself the story won't be a thing anymore because of, for instance, like we saw in the White House North Lawn today in terms of questions, if they're not going to be confrontational, they don't get airtime. They don't get the clicks like they used to. Therefore, it's going to be a long four years for those who made themselves the story and media do. Let's hope. Hey, Joe, you're all right. Thanks for joining us. We always appreciate it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> big you, Big smile, baby. Good Thanks very you. much.